To get this to work, we have to go to a four lens cloak. Okay, so let's see. Let me draw an optical axis so I can keep them all straight. And there'll be a lens one, two, three, and four. And they'll be separated by T1, T2, and T3. And they'll have focal length one, focal length two, focal length three, and focal length four. And we could go from there, get pretty messy. So we're going to apply a little bit of intuition and simplify a little bit and say it should be symmetric. Anything these two lenses do, these two will undo. So let's make it symmetric at least to simplify. So sym symmetric would mean that F1 equals F4 and F2 equals F3 and T1 equals T3. So these two sets of lenses are the same, and they have the same separation as these two lenses, which are the same. They have the same separation, but then T2 can vary, okay? And just to help me set up the matrices, I'm actually going to relabel them, so I'll be able to read and get everything right. So that becomes T1, F1, F4 is the same as F1, and F3 is the same as F2. Maybe by simplifying it, we lose the solution. Maybe it's not possible, but just our intuition tells us that if it's a symmetric thing, there's probably a solution. Okay, so here we go. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven matrices here. So let's get started. Uh, the light is going to come in this way, but I'm going to write the matrices backwards because I like to write from left to right. So here we go. I'm going to do this one first. An F1, one, zero, minus one over F1, one. And then propagate T1, 1, T1, 0, 1. And then an F2, uh, 1, 0, minus 1 over F2, 1. And then propagate T2, uh, 1, T2, 0, 1. And then make sure I'm on the right path here. Got to do another F2. 1, 0, minus 1 over F2, 1. And then we've got to propagate T1. 1, T1, 0, 1. And then finally that first refraction at the very first lens. 1, 0, minus 1 over F1, 1. Like that. So we're going to multiply all of these. Now, if you really just go down, they'll get really complicated. So a little tip to making this not quite so bad is to keep the simple ones. Multiply them when they're simple. So let's multiply the two outside ones and see what happens here. So, um, so these two. Here we go. So 1 times 1, 0 times 0, 1. And that is T1. And this becomes minus 1 over F1 times that 1 and 0. And this becomes t, uh, minus t over f1 plus 1. All right, minus t over f1 plus 1, yes. And then we'll just keep these two. 1, 0, minus 1 over f2, 1. 1, t2, 0, 1. We'll keep these three, rather. 1, 0, minus 1 over f2, 1. And then this one will be the product of these two. So that is 1 minus T1 over F1 and um, T1, because 1 times 0, blah, 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 and 0, and that's minus 1 over F1, and that's 1. All right. This isn't so bad, because now we're going to multiply these two. And see what befalls us. This is going to be 1 minus t1 over f2. 1 minus t1 over f2. And this is going to be t1. And this, uh oh, 
this is going to be 1 times this minus 1 over f1 minus t over f1. I'm sorry, this goes over here, right? Uh, yeah, that goes over there. Oh, not so bad. Okay, so um, I've completely lost my train of thought. So now it's minus 1 over f1 times 1, and then this times f2. Okay. So that's plus t over f1, f2. Um, minus 1 over f2. Yeah, there we go. And t1 way over here. And then finally, oh goodness, let's see. So this is then um, 1 minus t1 over, that's a 1 I assume, 1 minus t1 over f1. And 1, t2, 0, 1. And then this one, similar in complexity to this one, becomes 1 minus t1 over f1. And then down here is minus 1 over f2 plus t1 over f1, f2, um, minus 1 over f1. Hey, that sounds familiar. And then let's see, and then this becomes t1, and then this becomes 1 minus t1 over f2. Uh, Right? So we got it down to 3. And look at that, these two are the same. What do you know? Well, that's because we set it up symmetric in the first place. Right? So we could have saved a little time. So we keep going. We get a jump matrix, and we set it equal to propagation over the distance 2t1 plus t2. It's really long. I'm not going to finish it. I'll, I'll give you a printed solution. It's not worth the bandwidth to make a video <laughs> of continuing to multiply these out. What you get is a very complicated condition where if you buy the right lenses, uh, where uh, two lenses of F1, or, or two lenses for F1 and two lenses for F2, this calculation will tell you how to separate them, and you'll make a cloak. You'll make something that the light rays go through unperturbed. You'll see the background real smooth, but there'll be a sort of a conical region where if you put your finger there, it'll be cloaked. And to prove it, I'm going to put the nice video from Rochester that they made about this cloak down there so you can see it as well there. All right. So have fun finishing those matrices and then check your solution when I post it.